You want to know how I ended up here, foreigner? You dare ask such a question, as if we were equals? Very well. I will tell you the story, my companion in misfortune. If there is one thing of which we are not deprived in this bloody dungeon, it is time. I aimed for the throne, yet I ended up in this dark, moldy prison cell. Beyond these bars lies the land of my fathers, Lithuania. Its swamps, deep forests, and raging rivers are not exactly the heart of civilization, if you ask our enemies. Which makes it all the more astonishing that they have tried, time and again, to subjugate it. It began when some chosen ones felt called on to bring the light to Lithuania. They named themselves the Teutonic Order, and under the banner of the cross they promised deliverance, yet they brought only death and perdition. Lithuania was not easily cowed. Our ancestors learned how to fight by battling the forces of nature and the beasts of the dark primeval forests. Every one of our soldiers is steeped in that same tradition. But the more that we resisted the Crusaders and their god, the more ruthless they became. Slowly, we began to see their true faces. They called themselves holy warriors, but they were nothing more than robber knights. And a hundred years of pillaging our lands had made them masters of their trade. They razed our strongholds and torched our villages. Had Grand Duke Gedimina still been alive, he would have put this mob of greedy crusaders in its place. But a devious coup ended his life and left the throne to his useless son, Eunutis. Eunutis was weak, but worse, he was divisive when the land needed unity. He turned away from our old beliefs and accepted the Christian God. As he failed to control the domestic unrest, the Grand Master of the Teutonic Order saw his chance to subjugate Lithuania for good. However, Eunutis' brothers Algirdas and Kestutis refused to stand idly by as their beloved homeland fell to the cross. They exhorted the disaffected princes to dethrone Eunutis, who had barricaded himself inside of the Lithuanian capital of Vilnius. Internal disputes threaten our independence. The Teutonic Knights rattle their swords, while our useless brothers underestimate the threat. Let us put an end to this mischief. Take the throne and prove worthy of our father's legacy. That is how we will do it, little brother. Just keep the order at bay. I will take care of our ineffectual brothers so that they might understand that the affairs of government should not be in their hands. So we're staging a coup already. I wonder if there's any relics close by. I think the best way of doing this would be trying to click up as quickly as possible. Until Cobb campaign in the future. Yeah, actually really does, doesn't that? They did say they'll be d releasing new co-op campaigns and missions in the near future as well. Aha! Doink! They have zero upgrades, oh my god. Father gave Vilnius to me, making it clear who he considered his heir. Raise your hand against them, and you shall die! You cannot scare us, you notice. 
He sounds so angry. You have always been this ponderous knee-high boy that you are evidently still today. You are all bark. No bite. Very slow start though compared to the last two. I'm actually wondering if you were meant to play in a certain order. I think it is very possible that you were meant to play it in a certain order. Am I bullying my brother? Isn't that half the fun of having siblings? <laughs> nah, I don't have... Uh, well, it's complicated, really. I have, I have lots of siblings, but I also have very few at the same time. Because <laughs> you are younger. Were you the one that got bullied? <laughs> uh, we're going to get a wheeling click up. Where is the wood line up? So back here. She's had a great in the scouts, I know, right? How funny is that? Kind of not helpful having these four on gold, but I couldn't be bothered sending them back. Yeah, you three come to here, please. Uh, probably a little bit more. Does not even have bloodlines? Do these villagers have any goodies for us? We can be friends, right? Maybe not. <laughs> Give me your town center. Well, that support, that scout got absolutely clobbered by those arrows. I want to see how much easier the Cuban campaign is with the. Uh... Uh, although, to be fair, I did play it back when step lances were completely broken. With the minus 100 wood for buildings, I reckon that campaign is going to be so much easier. Especially um, Mission 3, I believe it is. Because Mission 3 we used to be quite tricky. Did I start a trade? Probably not. I don't even have a market for me to start a trade if I wanted to. Religious affairs are dangerous. But they can also be a useful tool. Some of our subjects follow ancient pagan traditions, while others are committed to Christianity. Perhaps we can win both groups over to our cause. Now build monasteries and shrines. Ooh, I want to see what a shrine does. Ooh, yes. Is there nobody left with a sense of loyalty and decency? Do not grieve. You can rely on me to teach these two amateur fighters a lesson. Oh, goody. Another enemy. Beat the dogs and beg for forgiveness before tomorrow dawns. Seems like my characters have a knack for pissing everyone off.
I feel like humans should be. I feel like they could be even broken with this. Like minus a hundred is insane. Like minus fifty, but I I think would already be like a decent change. My guess is that you want to build a mixture of like wait. Okay, that's not hotkey to the same one. When we can't build Hassar, what do we build instead? Salmon. <laughs> Show yourselves if you are so bold, my defiant brothers. I long for a good fight. Oh, long swords. I was gonna say, we filled light cap. You failed your t the quiz. <laughs> Uh, I think we're gonna buy a little bit of wood here. Sure that the residents of this settlement could keep their ancient beliefs. In gratitude, they will send soldiers to assist us. Oh, this is so cool. So by having this and that, I can choose which religion they have. You know, we're probably gonna make all of them pagan, right? Unless there's some sort of debuff or not splitting accordingly. Feels like I should have way more wood than I currently do. Uh, let's do another shrine. I like the shrines. They're pretty. Now watch them miss every single shot. This is probably good timing. Get fletching for the TCs. We are sure that the residents of this settlement could keep their ancient beliefs. In gratitude, they will send soldiers to assist us in battle. I have no idea. All I know is that I'm gonna make a cake and refuge for the, for the Lithuanians here. Do not worry about the Teutonic Knights. I will assure that they do not cross our borders. But I will need the help of your soldiers to wipe out the Order's outpost, Algadar. Uh, now I've got way too many on wood. I was lacking wood for ages here. Uh, orders comes in at once. There we go. But yeah, they're not assigned. Like, you you essentially are the one... It's like uh, having a sorting hat for the villagers, but you're the sorting hat. Yeah, let's drop off the last of the stone I need. Yes, one man at arm is gonna very much do all of the things I need to do. I need light cow upgrade as well. Priests! <laughs> Let's go! 
convert fast to you dumb priests. Let's just block them out for the moment. Because the AI doesn't know how to cope with being blocked out like this. Yep, that'll do. Oh, there's a lot of leaders here actually. I'm guessing that they actually give the other ones give you resources or something then. Oh, uh, lose an enemy as well. Okay, let's get Blodkin. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> I don't know how long I can hold this. Run. Be assured that the residents of this settlement will keep their ancient beliefs. In gratitude, they will send soldiers to assist us in battle. Probably should be making knights on Why am I making Lycav here? I have plenty of gold. Old habits die hard. Oh no. Oh no. I need him alive. About to find out. Dusk has been wounded. Yeah. Take him to the physicians. We have to continue the fight without him while he recovers. No. Oh, I don't. I need pikemen here. I don't have any relics, so these knights kind of suck. Does his have relics? I think it was only plus two, though. Where is the castle? Let's try and bring him to the castle, maybe. I'm making this way more painful for myself. I'm guessing I lost that villager. Oh, look at this. They're getting spicy with some rams. Oh, yay, we actually recovered. Are they getting wrecked? They're not really doing a whole lot, they're just like surviving. I think maybe I need to go help get rid of Fred first. Although, 
I can get some rams here. I could start pushing that. Hey Dave, I'm doing good. How are you doing, man? Oh, I can I get light cap? Best unit in the game. I want to try and find some relics though, so I have better knights. And then try and try to get stuff to work. Oh, I hate that feeling. Hopefully it'll subside soon. I don't need more bills, do I? Go and see what we can do to this little bandit camp. Oh no, you're meant to do that. The whole world is going back to a pagan beginning. I need some of these to help with this. Be assured that the residents of this settlement could keep their beliefs. There's no there's no Christian ones. Nah, that actually did so much damage to the castle. Maybe I should have gone for a pike ram push here. We can switch it to that though. Let's get rid of these. I like they're making any range unit at all. Holy crap, they take forever to kill buildings. Oh, I need way more on wood. Oh, did I just lose all of those? Oops. <laughs> 13 rams and they dream. Oh, they're all chasing. That's where all they, they went. They're all chasing after one dumb. Let's not send them into that. Maybe even range units would have been the trick here because they've got so many li lightest, lightest, lightest. 
I've heard it called all sorts of things. Lettuces, indeed. What are they converting now? At least they're going after this boss. Oh no, the Onager! Oh no! I can't watch the Onagers kill all my rams. Can I please have a mission where I get to him? I don't have to push castles and shit. I think I delete some bills as well. I think I delete like three. <laughs> Start setting knights in again. Well, against Thetis, it doesn't feel like the best unit to be sending in. Because the Thetis just gets rid of your armor. Maybe we just make our own Thetis, honestly. Litai. If I don't have it, anything, I'm still going. <laughs> yeah. I've been really enjoying the campaigns, though. Honestly, it got to five hours, and I had no idea how much time had passed. Now I'm aware, but I'm, I don't really care. <laughs> Let's not have some. Let's not have ram on ram action right now. That's cheating. <laughs> he sounds like a psycho. I wonder if I send Rez to tier the train more units. Let's give it a go. Ram Ram sounds intriguing. <laughs> sounds terrifying. Of course it's fortify- oh my god, do not let these get all this shit. Let's start trading some more rounds. Yeah, I don't mind these missions when they at least give me uh, capped ram. When they don't have capped ram, it's just painful. Okay, get rid of the TC. Now we can get half of that more easily. And then we have to defeat uh, Narimantis as well. I don't understand how Teal is so shit. <laughs> is all I will say. Like, a lot of the time when they add an ally on these missions, they're more of a hindrance than a help. Okay, that castle will go down, hopefully that means these will resign. Uh, we'll play small siege workshops over here then.
That's how it is in most games, true though. Now you resign, right? You're an artist or do you <laughs> He's so dramatic. I love it. May he rot there. We have more important things to take care of. When you hide out, oh really, Dave? You think I'm gonna let you have that trade? No trade for you. I could repair these, but I also could just trade new ones. Oh, I gotta actually clean a castle here as well. And it's been like one or two missions where the AI has been useful as an ally, otherwise it's an imposter. Oops. <laughs> By not doing 17 TC boom. Oh well, I actually even give you a weak spot to hit. I'm still going to go through the, the gate, but... It's good to know that they gave us a, an easier way to get it if I really wanted it. Twelve rams where? I'm not gonna be training from back there. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, yeah, time to delete some more bills. Oh wow, this is efficient. And that's the last of my gold. Is there not gold over here somewhere? Or did I take it all? Nope, I took it all. I'm trying to think if there's ever been, in the history of all missions, a mission where taking a castle out without uh, long range artillery, that's actually not painful. Or at least capped around. I don't. I honestly can't think of a time where I've ever enjoyed taking out a castle with ramps that aren't at least capped. It's just so much slower than it needs to be. Because you've won the mission for so much longer than you actually get to end it, essentially. Ram on ram action, let's go. Oh god. <laughs> Pretty much all of the Joan of Arc campaign. I actually quite enjoy the Joan of Arc campaign in spite of it. But having to clean all the castles without uh, having any sort of decent rams or Trev siege in general, not my favorite thing. I just think it's poor level design, if I'm 100% honest. Like, maybe it's good for development of the overall campaign in terms of, let's say that you want to make it so it's uh, 
scaling by the years or something. It kind of makes sense in that respect. And then they give me three million things to get through before I can even get to the damned castle. I think that villager died. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Come on. I think I found one worse behind. <laughs> Oh, come on, where the he So I have to go all the way around to then kill probably another gate here. And then another gate here to kill the castle. Unbelievable. Uh, how many more bills can we delete? Nope, quite literally, you can't get in through this way. Uh, wait, nope. Oh boy. That villager die as well. Oops. I will never complain about uh, rams and castles if I at least start can make a path towards the castle again. <laughs> exactly beehive. Oh god. Give me strength. Probably my least favorite mission so far, and that's purely because of this. Up until this point, it was okay. Can't put all of them in the round. Okay, we've made a way through. It was like they're not even able to train any units anymore. Let's just DQ everything and just make rams. So I heard you like rams. Put them all inside. <laughs> that one skirmisher doing as much damage as it can do to a castle. And the worst part is you can only fit like two or three rams on each of these things. And the ram damage are, doesn't scale that well with infantry. Like it scales decently. Oh. Time for some long swords, I guess. <laughs> so he wants to play rounds. Oh, 
the long, arduous journey of these rams. And they still haven't managed to clear the Teutonic Raiders. Like, that's embarrassing. Basic, okay? 105 yourself, AI. Drop it. Hey, Kytos, thanks so much for me something. I really appreciate it. Rams take forever to kill castles, and I'm pretty sure this one has masonry as well. Uh, yes, I have Kaidos. 10 hours so far. <laughs> I was expecting this mission to be a little bit more fast paced, but it's okay. Okay, that one's done. Surely. This is what I think of using Rams. <laughs> I have no choice but to withdraw after this. I just enjoy the update and the campaigns. Mari Mantas allegedly seeks refuge with the Golden Horn. What a pathetic idea. It will not do him any good. Lithuania is ours. Let us rest and allow our brave men to recover from the fighting. We will meet at the court in Vilnius, my brother, for there is much to discuss. Come on, the mission's over. Thank you. To seize power is one thing. To keep it is something else entirely. Only a fool declares himself the victor after winning the first battle of a war. As such, Algirdas and Kestutis, the victorious usurpers, knew that their triumph could turn out to be short-lived. The two of them, however, were a different breed than most rulers of their time. Instead of quarreling as their brothers had done, and as most people expected them to, for who had ever heard of two men sharing power? Algirdas and Kestutis agreed to rule Lithuania together. It was a remarkable move, and it showed that they cared more about the well-being of their subjects than personal power. This, of course, did not go unnoticed by the Teutonic Grand Master. He knew that he would have to contend with more formidable opponents from now on. 